Hello guys, in today's quick tutorial, I will show you how to create the new uh, data pool as well as uh, how to creating a new data set. And with that, let's get started. So first thing, uh, in order to create a data set, you will need to create a pool. Uh, so we want to go ahead and go head to storage to create a new pool. Actually, let me go back. Um, so here you have an option if you already have a existing pool. Uh, you can uh, import it. Uh, if you do not, you uh, you can create a new pool. All right. So right now I have four SSD attaching uh, to my system. One is already uh, I already creating another pool on a different uh, TrueNest. That's one is the TrueNest uh, core. So we not we we'll not be using this. However, I'm gonna add it in uh, just to show you the differences. So. Right now, if I'm adding the three um, blank SSD on my system, it will show me uh, uh, three options: uh, Stry, uh, Mirror, Mirror, and uh, Ray Z. So if you select the different one, it gives you, um, you know, a different one. Uh, uh, the estimate of uh, the storage ca uh, cap uh, capacity. So go down on top to bottom. Uh, this thing at the represent the the level of redundancy. So the top one at the less redundancy, and the bottom one at uh, the more redundancy is offered. So the more redundancy is offered, is also take away a lot of um, raw uh, storage capability. So it. Um, the reason why it have to get research the space for the parity uh, in case of like uh, a disk failure, it can yield that parity and rebuild the system. So that's the reason why the more um, redundancy you have, uh, the less storage space you will uh, you will have. So it's really depend on you like how you like, how you value your data. If it's super important data uh, data to you, obviously you would go with the most. Uh, you know, uh, offer the most uh, redundancy uh, capability. Capability. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the tank one. We'll not be using it, but just to show you. So, when I add in the uh, tank one, uh, the SSD belongs to tank one. It's automatically pop up another option, RAID Z2. So RAID Z Z2 is uh, a minimum requirement and have to be at least for this. Uh, you can read about the uh, online. I'm not gonna go in depth uh, about this thing. You can uh, Google it and look it up. However, it's um, when you Google, it, just to make sure that you look it up for Open ZFS, because the Open ZFS and the ZFS, the proprietary um, belong to uh, Oracle. It's actually a little bit different. So, just to make sure that you look for Open ZFS and not the uh, Oracle ZFS. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the tank number one, and I'm gonna select all the three, and we're gonna go with the Ray Z. I think Ray Z uh, would be the best for everybody. It offer uh, both on the redundancy as well as uh, the uh, storage uh, efficiency. So it kind of balance else, but again, it really depends on. Uh, what type of data you store and what your uses uh, it, it really depends on a lot of factor and you can read more about these uh, there's a lot of conversation on uh, um, TrueNest forum so you can actually look it up in Google I'm not gonna go into detail alright and we're gonna name it tank number two uh, basically uh, the tank it it the default name for um, you know uh, ZFS. However, you uh, you can name it whatever you uh, desire. You can have a uh, you have an option to encrypt the whole data. Uh, one thing, if you do decide to do the encryption, make sure that you back up the the encryption key. Okay, if you lost that key, that's it. Uh, you will never able to. Um, Unlock the uh, the encrypted that uh, data, 
that you store within that uh, pool. All right, for purpose of this tutorial, we will keep it uh, unencrypted. All right, and create on the bottom, and we confirm. So now that we have a pool, the next step we're gonna do it. We're gonna create a data set. Someone head over to data sets. All right, and as you see, we have a tank number two right here, and I can add the new data set, and I will call it sysadmin one o two share. Sysadmin one o two share. And I'm gonna keep everything else as a default option. Okay, and that's it. Now I have a data set. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create um, a local users, uh, as well as how to um, you window SMP and how to mount a. Um, SMP as on the different uh, operating system, uh, Mac OS, Windows, Linux. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.